Hello everyone and welcome. You guys know I'm always looking for great new tools to help you work smarter, not harder. With the technology we have available today, we no longer have to use measuring sticks, levels, or string lines to get accurate complex measurements. In fact, most of the time, levels and other measuring devices wind up getting more in your way than what they help. Well, today we're going to look at the best measuring tool you can buy, a laser level. But not any ordinary laser level. This is a self-leveling, 16-line, 360-degree laser level. Yeah, this baby takes care of just about everything you could ask for. So let's unbox this bad boy and see what I got. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. Alright, so let's see what I have here. This is the MiU 16 line 360 degree laser level from Amazon, link in description below. Now let's pull this baby out of this box. And it comes in a nice bag to carry it all around. And let's see, let me open this up. And at the making of this video, this retails for $119.99, but there is currently a 10% discount on their Amazon page so you can get it even cheaper. Well, everything comes nicely packaged in this carrying case to keep it all safe and secure if you need to travel around from job to job, if you're not just using it at home. So let me unbox all this, get it all out of here, and I'll be right back. All right, so when you unbox this bad boy, this is what you get. First, starting off with the owner's manual, and I suggest you read through that. Then you basically get the laser itself. You get a convenient carrying bag to keep everything safely and securely in. You get an aluminum lift table, you get a magnetic wall bracket, these two parts go together, these two make up the wall bracket. You get four 18650 rechargeable lithium ion batteries, you get a charger for the batteries, you get a remote control, you get a targeting plate, and you get safety glasses. Everything covering everything you're going to need. The dimensions on the laser itself is very compact. You're looking at 6 inches in length, 6 inches in height, and only three and a quarter inches in width. Very compact. The laser itself only weighs 1.5 pounds. And if you put all this stuff together in the bag, the bag with everything in it only weighs 3.5 pounds. So very lightweight. You can carry it from job to job and not get tired. The unit is IP54 dust and waterproof rated, and it has an operating temperature of from 10 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. So you can use it indoors, outdoors, pretty much any kind of weather. The unit is powered by two 18650 lithium ion rechargeable batteries that'll last up to eight hours. But the package brings you four batteries, so you have two extras so you can keep on going regardless of your time constraints. The laser uses a class two green laser, which is much brighter and easier to see than the red lasers. And I know somebody out there is going to be asking this, so I'll tell you. The wavelength on this laser is from 520 to 532 nanometers. The range on this, as far as how far can it put out lights, the laser itself is 98 feet. And it has four brightness adjustment levels. So making it very easy that you can use this both indoors and outdoors, regardless of how bright or dim it is out there. It puts out 4D cross lines and 4 360 degree lines for a total of 16 lines. It could project lines on ceilings, walls, floors, etc. with 10 intersections top, bottom, left, and right. The level itself is self-leveling plus or minus 3 degrees. And it has an out of range alarm where it's audible and visual so it'll beep and the lines will start to blink letting you know that you have to adjust it because it went beyond its 3 degree limit. The accuracy on the unit is plus or minus 1 millimeter up to 7 meters or 0.04 inches up to 21 feet. That is very, very accurate. 0.04 inches up to a maximum of 21 feet, that is incredibly accurate. It is mountable on just about any kind of tripod. Tripod is not included, obviously, but you can put it on your own tripod any kind of standard thread, it has adapters for just about anything for both the one quarter inch threads and the five eighths inch threads. So all standard tripods will work with this. So what would you use something like this for? 
Well, you could use it for hanging pictures, artwork, cabinets, lighting fixtures, doors, windows, hanging wallpaper, putting in flooring, tiles on walls, tiles on floor, fencing, anything where you need an accurate level line or a straight edge. Now, as far as the mounting hardware for this, this unit, this is the wall bracket that comes with the unit, and this is adapters that it has here, so you can use it on just about any kind of tripod. But if you're gonna put the laser on this and mount it on the wall, you use this plate, and it has screw holes so you can attach it somewhere, and it does have a little lip on the back so you can mount it over the edge, and then you just mount it like that. The convenient thing about this is that it seems to be very well made, and everything on here, let me show Everything on here is gear driven for greater accuracy. So if you want to change the angle, it's gear driven. You want to change the direction of the laser, you can see on there how it turns, it's gear driven. You want to change it forwards and backwards, it is gear driven. So that gives you a better, more accurate measurement when you need to get a certain position for the laser instead of just having to manually move it yourself. This does it a whole lot more accurately for you. So let's put this to some practical use and see what we can do with it. All right, so let's take a little closer look at the unit itself before we start using it. And I'm just showing it to you right there on a simple little table mount tripod to show you that you can put it on pretty much any tripod. You can put it on that little lift table that comes with it. I'll show you a shot of that in a moment. Or you can just, if you have a little table mount tripod, you can use that. I'll show you on a big tripod in a moment. But let's look a little closer at the unit itself so you can see what it looks like. And that's the unit itself. You can see all the lasers coming out of the top, the bottom, all around, the sides, everything there. Now to turn the unit on itself, it's very simple. It's just that button right there. It doesn't say on off, it says lock and unlock. Because what you do is basically when you unlock it, you'll see that the lasers all come loose. Right now they're locked, so they don't move around as you're moving the unit around because it has like gyros or a gimbal or whatever you want to call it inside. And when you release it, you'll see right there, as I move that, you'll see that, see how it comes loose? That's for the self-adjusting, self-leveling function of the unit itself. And all the buttons are pretty much right on top. And back here is where the batteries go, right in there. And you'll notice it said both positive on top. It says positive, positive because you have to put it that way. The positive has to face up on both batteries. So make sure you note that when you're gonna be doing it. So I'll turn it on, I'll put the batteries on and I'll turn it on for you in just a moment, but that gives you a shot. And on this side, you can see that side with the laser on this side as well. So I'll show you this in a moment as I'll turn it on and I'll put it on a different tripod and I'll show you how to mount it on the wall too. There's a shot of it on its nifty little lift table that comes with it. It's a nice little aluminum lift table. And there you have it. I mocked up a mounting plate on the wall of my garage door right there. So you can see what it looks like if it is wall mounted. If you had it mounted on a metal stud or something like that, you use the adapter that comes with it and it's wall mounted. And then you're free to move around and do whatever you need to with the lights pointing in whatever direction you need it to go. And then you just angle it wherever you need your lines to be. Okay, so here we have the laser set up for you. I'm gonna demonstrate it all for you right now. And like I said, you have it. I have it right now set up on a standard tripod. And if you wanna use a video tripod, a photography tripod, surveyor's tripod, any kind of tripod, doesn't matter. It has fittings to fit it properly. And right now I have it showing all the different lines and you can see the lines on the floor. Uh, you can say vertical or horizontal, basically gives you an uh, X pattern. And I'll show you how, this is why it says 360 degrees. If you pan around the entire room, it'll show you the lines everywhere. You can see the vertical and horizontal lines there and over there on the door. And if we pan up, you can see it on the ceiling as well. So that's why pretty much you can set it up anywhere and get lines everywhere you want it to. And with the handy remote, which I have in my hand right now, I'll show you how you can turn all the lines on and off with this neat little remote right here. So all you do is, and I'll turn them on and off, and you can see the different ones. And the vertical, you can turn them off, and you can turn on one, leave that one on, leave the other one off, or turn that one on, and that one goes off, or turn them both off, like that. And on the vertical, oh, that was the horizontal. No, that was the vertical. Here's the horizontal. 
and the horizontal, you can have them two on, have them off, have one there, have the other one, or have both of them. And turn on the other ones again. So you see, basically lines everywhere, regardless of whether you're working on the floor, the wall, the ceiling, whatever you need to work on, it'll take care of it for you. And you see, even with all the lights on, it is still very, very clear and easy to see where the lines are. There's no mistaking where the lines are. Very easy to strike a line and get it done properly. Okay, so let's say I wanted to put some flooring in my garage shop in here. Let's say I wanted to make it into a fancy man cave. So I want to put some nice hardwood flooring. Okay, so then where do I start? Where do I get my orientation? Well, let's see. Let's throw down these few pieces right here. And it looks pretty straight, doesn't it? That looks pretty darn straight to me. I mean, I could just keep going like that. And it looks like I'm doing a pretty good job. And I just threw it down really, really quick. So let's look at it from a couple different angles and see how it looks. And I'm not going to move this from here. To me, it doesn't look too bad at all. I mean, it looks fairly decent right there. So let's uh, turn on the laser, and then I'm going to see exactly if I'm right on or if I'm not so close. Let's find out. Okay, so as you can see right there, when I turn on the laser, it looks like I'm a little bit off. Let's look a little closer. You look right there, and you can see I'm a little bit off back here. And let's move to the front and see exactly where I am. Well, you can see right there, I'm definitely off. So I go from being way out of the line to being way in the line. So that's why instead of trying to draw a shock line or something like that, it's just so much easier to have a laser to help you line it up quick and easy. So all I'd have to do is, before I make any of this permanent, is just come up and push it over a little bit. And there you go. I'm a whole lot closer. I can fine tune it, obviously. But I'm just showing you how easy it is to make adjustments on the fly. Well, let's move this part over here. There you go. You make adjustments on the fly before you make anything permanent. And all of a sudden, you just fixed what would have been a big mistake and made your floor look a whole heck of a lot better. Visually, it doesn't seem to be that big a difference, but the laser proves different. There you go, another useful tool. And the same thing goes if you're trying to hang up wallpaper or something like that, or like the garage door right there. You can see it's actually fairly level, fairly straight. You can see the line right down the middle. Whoever installed it did a decent job. And one thing I wanted to touch on is the self-leveling feature of this device is very important. It is critical to the proper functioning of this device. And I just wanted you to know that when I put this on the tripod, I did not level the tripod. I just opened up the legs and put it on the floor, and that was it. That's all I did. The laser leveled itself. I couldn't manually level this tripod when I put it down because even though this tripod has a level built into it, it is so old that it has dried up. So I couldn't even do that. Another thing also to keep in mind is that this garage floor has a slant or a tilt to it, and all slabs normally do that when they pour a garage slab. It's meant so that any water, snow, ice, whatever, even liquids uh, leaking out of a car, they're made to run out towards the door and out of the garage. For safety reasons or whatever, they're all poured like that. And if any of you guys are contractors and you know exactly what the angle is, you can comment down below and let me know what it is. But I'm thinking it's something like a one degree slant, something like that. And the laser was able to compensate for it because it can go up to three degrees plus or minus. But I wanted to point out also the alarm feature that it has to show you how it behaves if it goes out of level. I am manually going to make it go out of level right now, and you'll see what it does. And there you see that it starts blinking, beeping, etc. And the sound can be turned on or off, uh, you know, with the buttons on top. That's not a problem. So I'll put it back into level, and then let's go the other way. And it does the same thing. More than three degrees and it starts warning you that you have to adjust it because it's too far out of range. Okay guys, some final thoughts on the MiU 16 lines, 360 degrees self-leveling laser level. I think this is a fantastic tool. I only showed you a couple demonstrations because I don't want to bore you with a very long video. But this is a very useful tool. The only limit is your imagination. 
Whether you're putting down flooring, like I showed you, which, by the way, is one of the hardest things to do when remodeling, because most walls are either oddly shaped or not straight. So it's hard to get an accurate measurement, and you can wind up with a crooked floor. This tool helps you to eliminate that problem. If you're putting up pictures, light fixtures, installing doors, windows, fencing, tiles, moldings, anything that you want a truly accurate measurement, this laser could really come in handy. And it's super convenient because several people can work at the same time with the same measurement. With a regular level or string line, each person would have to share it or it could be bumped out of alignment. This guy eliminates those problems. No matter the size of the room, it'll be able to tackle it for you. So for a very affordable price, this tool takes your projects to the next level of accuracy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.